This is problem number 13 from the January 2015 Algebra Regents exam. Um, so we've got Connor that's going to a town carnival. The price of admission is $4.50, and each ride costs an additional 79 cents. So if we're going to write that as an equation or an inequality, um, so it's four, oops, hang on. It is 4.50 or 4.5 um, for the admission plus an additional 79 cents per ride. So of course 79 cents would be 0 0.79 and then it looks like we're going to use our variable r for the number of rides. Um, <clears throat> and if you can spend at most $16, uh, that means this inequality needs to be less than or equal to 16 because it can't, at most means it can't be any more than 16, but 16 is okay. So now we can see that the inequality is either number three or four. Um, option one and two don't make sense because they're doing 450 times the number of rides, but 450 is the price of admission. Okay, and then the next thing we need to do is find out how many rides Connor can actually go on. And to figure that out, we're going to solve this inequality. I'm going to start by subtracting 4.5 from both sides, canceling that out, and then we'd be left with 0.79r is less than or equal to uh, 11.5. And then we would divide both sides by 0 0.79. Canceling those out, I may be left with r is less than or equal to 14.55, and so on. Okay, so that means that the number of rides that Connor can go on is less than or equal to 14.55. Obviously, we're talking about a number of rides, so it has to be the nearest whole number. But we, we're not going to round up to 15 because 15 is not less than or equal to 14.55, right? So the number of rides that he can do is 14 at the most. 15 is not quite enough there. So the correct solution is number 3, 14 rides. Thanks for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.